Friends, family, board of trustees members, and most importantly, our graduates. Welcome to our 2019 Excellence Awards Ceremony. My name is Sabrina Fennell. <laughs> My name is Sabrina Fennell, and I am honored to be your host this evening. I can be a talker, so I don't know how I was selected for this role, but I uh, guarantee them I would stick with the, strict, with the script, so I promise I will try my best. So with that, it is my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Gary Olson, president of Damon College. A noted scholar of rhetoric, writing, and culture, Dr. Olson assumed office at Damon's president in 2013. Outside the college, he holds prestigious national leadership positions as chair of the NCAA Division II President's Council and serves on the NCAA Board of Governors. For several years, Dr. Wilson wrote a popular column on higher education administration for the Chronicle of Higher Education. He has written on similar subjects for the Huffington Post, and he is also author or editor of 20 books and more than 100 essays and articles. Please join me in welcoming Damon President, Dr. Gary Olson. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you, uh, graduate, graduating seniors, uh, their parents, their families, and friends, as well as uh, Damon faculty and staff to the 2019 Excellence Awards Ceremony. It's a great event tonight. This is a long-standing tradition that gives us the opportunity to celebrate our highest achieving students. I'd like to take a moment first, though, to recognize some distinguished guests who are with us tonight. Two members of the Damon College Board of Trustees are with us, Kathy LePage Campbell, class of 1984, and Jennifer Gursky uh, DePirio, class of 1999 and 2002. So please help me recognize them. By the way, for Trustee Campbell, who will be uh, the speaker at the graduating, at the graduation class for the graduates uh, in the second ceremony tomorrow, this is her 25th in a row attendance of this event. So maybe we should applaud her again. So the ceremony today is uh, our time to honor our graduates and to say farewell to the members of the class of 2019 who have earned great distinction at Damon and who have added so much to the college community during their time. I wish to extend uh, my congratulations to each of the students and uh, to thank all of their families and friends uh, who have supported them throughout their time here at Damon. You know, the annual Excellence Award Ceremony recognizes top scholarship uh, and achievements honoring those who represent the very best in each of the academic departments. This event, together with tomorrow's commencement ceremonies, mark the end of our graduates' years at Damon and the beginning of the next chapter of their lives. So it's a really exciting time for everybody. Now, to our graduates, I wish you all best as you leave Damon to begin the next phase of what I know will be promising lives. Uh, you've been an inspiration to all of us, and we'll hear some of these stories tonight. I'm confident uh, you'll use your exceptional educational experience, your talents, and your skills uh, to lead successful lives and make a real difference in the world. Uh, I offer my sincerest congratulations to all of the members of the 2019 class. So now let's learn a lot about how accomplished our really fine students are. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Olson. It's now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Glenda Artiga, our senior class representative from our Student Government Association to present the senior address. Dear fellow graduates, it is my pleasure and honor to share a few thoughts with you as we close this chapter of our lives and 
open ourselves to whatever comes next. Consider what Damon has provided us. We have a strong foundation in our selected academic disciplines, whether it be teaching, physical therapy, business, psychology, or modern languages. But as, well, cons um, but as we are consistently reminded since IND 101, we have a foundation of our core skills or competencies that we will take with us wherever we go in life, in the world of work, in our personal relationships, and all along our journey of life. We will be stronger, more certain, and better prepared because of our time at Damon College. We've also learned that we are part of a community, whether it be the Damon community, family, our surrounding community, and our heightened awareness of the global community in which we live. Through service learning, we have come to understand that the opportunities given to us are also responsibilities for us to share these gifts with others. We are all connected in this very way, also in the way we are connected to our future like we are with our past. As we look to continuously pay it forward in those communities we will, who are less fortunate than ourselves, it will be just as important to remember to look back and to give back to those who have helped us along the way. As we look back, we must first thank a number of people. First and foremost, let us thank our parents and families for being here for us our whole lives, for sacrificing for us, for helping us grow into our independence. We will forever be there for, for you as we move forward into our lives. Let us also remember to thank those many people at this phenomenal little school that has taken the extra time to guide us, challenge us, befriend us, and ultimately help us become successful in standing here today. We will not forget Damon College and many, the many mentors and friends who shared their time and talents with us. So you see, though we are now graduating and moving on, we are still connected to this little special place. We will forever be alumni of Damon College. Memories of our time spent here will always have a special place in our hearts. As you stay connected to your friends, be sure to stay connected to Damon. Congratulations to the class of 2019. Thank you, Glenda. All right, so now moving on, we will start first with our departmental awards. Ready? Okay. First, I'd like to introduce our Accounting and Business Administration Department, and presenting is Michelle Flint. Good evening, everyone. We are delighted to award the Accounting Department's Award of Excellence in our undergraduate program to Amber Wilk. If Amber could come forward, please. Amber is graduating with her bachelor's degree in accounting this May, having consistently been named to the Dean's List during her time at Damon. She is a member of Sigma Beta Delta Honor Society and is a Wegman Scholarship recipient. Amber currently works at the Buffalo Hearing and Speech Center as a finance intern and has been responsible for their billing to both Medicaid and to various school districts receiving service. She also served as a tax preparer for two years in Damon's Volunteer Income Tax Program and has continued to work at Wegmans throughout her four years at Damon. Amber's professionalism and strong work ethic have served as an example to others, and we're very proud to honor her with this award. Our second award goes to our accounting graduate student, and it is our pleasure to award the Accounting Department's Award of Excellence in our Graduate Accounting Program to Madison Kakamizi. <laughs> Madison will be graduating with her bachelor's and master's degree in accounting and a minor in human resource management. Madison currently works at the Buffalo Hearing and Speech Center and is responsible for billing and accounts receivable at the organization. She served as a tax intern for the ZLC group, 
completed an investment internship with Hudson Advisory Services, and prepared tax returns for Damon's Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. She is a Dean's List honoree and recipient of the Lumsden McCormick Scholarship. Madison is a consistently high performer and conducts herself with a high standard of ethics and professionalism. We're very honored to present Madison with this award. Thank you, Dr. Flins. Next from the business department is Bridget Nyland, associate professor. First off, congratulations, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend with your family. You have much to celebrate. So I'm here tonight to award the Dr. Charles Sabatino Sport Management Graduate Student Graduate of the Year Award. This award honors a graduating senior who demonstrates the attributes of Dr. Sabatino. He was a beloved professor here at Damon who, who taught out of the philosophy and religious studies department. He was also an accomplished runner who advocated for the development of a strong mind, body, and spirit. He also displayed a caring and kindness for others that will forever be missed on this campus. The, two, this two, the 2019 recipient is Samuel Curran. Sam, can you come forward? <laughs> Damon's business classrooms will not be the same without Sam. In a world that challenges all of us, Sam takes each day in stride. You make the most of every learning opportunity. And like Dr. Sabatino, you enjoy a good debate. Right, guys? We miss Charlie. You love debating whether it's sports, the uh, legal concept, politics, business. Sam is always there knowing the latest news. As an officer of the Sport Management Club, Sam kept us all on task with events and activities and always made sure, or at least tried to make sure I was on time. <laughs> Simply put, Sam, this place is not going to be the same without you. You've made not only yourself better in your time here, but you've made all of us better. Sam will start his postgraduate life with the Buffalo Bisons as, a, as an intern in the Public Relations Department. Please give a nice warm round of applause for Sam. Thank you. I now invite Carol Bartlow, Assistant Presenter. Assistant Professor, excuse me. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I'm here to present the 2019 Outstanding Business Student Award. Could I have Rico Martin Ruiz Martinez please join me up here? This is the second time I had to give Rico an award today, so um, he's a very accomplished young man. Um, he is a transfer student here at Damon from Valencia, Spain. He excelled in every aspect at Damon College since he got here. Um, he is a Damon student athlete, and he was um, a general business specialist in the business administration department. Tomorrow he's going to be getting his bachelor's of science degree in business administration, and he did that along with earning three minors, one in entrepreneurship, one in international business, and one also in marketing. And he didn't stop there. He also completed two internships during his time here at Damon, and only one of those was required. And in addition to that, he served as an academic coach named by the faculty in the business department who appoint academic coaches for those excellent students who can help the students in our department who need help. And he was a valuable resource to those students. Um, he was a captain of the Damon tennis team. He played first singles for the Damon tennis team, and he earned 30 single career wins. 
He was twice named to the All East Conference team. Uh, this week alone, he also earned two academic honors from Damon Athletics Conference. He is the East Coast Conference Men's Tennis Scholar Athlete of the Year, and he was named to the Google Cloud Academic All-District Men's At-Large team. Earlier today, he was also awarded the Damon Athletics Graduating Scholar Athlete Award for the student athlete with the highest GPA of all the graduating student athletes. You can see that he is pretty accomplished in the classroom. And along with being a student, a student athlete, and an intern, he also was an employee of the college. And he volunteered for the Damon's Cause Program and other community events. And he posted an extremely high GPA, as you can imagine, which is why he's standing up here today. Ricardo was respectful and responsible. He is encouraging to all his classmates and teammates and friends. And he prioritized capitalizing on all of the opportunities to positively shape himself. So I'm very proud to award today to Ricardo Ruiz Martinez the 2019 Outstanding Business Student Award. Presenting next is Margaret Phillips, our Program Director of our Paralegal Studies Program. Good evening. Uh, we are very lucky to have two outstanding paralegal studies majors to recognize tonight, uh, Stefan Foster and uh, Isabel Acosta. Uh, for Stefan Foster, uh, he is an outstanding student who I've had the pleasure to teach and mentor for the last four years. He has distinguished himself by his initiative and his curiosity to learn and has not only excelled in his undergraduate study of law through the paralegal studies program, but also took on two minors in political communication and professional writing. And during his senior year, um, in addition to working several jobs, created a multimedia installation telling the story about the history of New York State and how the state has treated people with disabilities. Uh, during all this, uh, in addition to working part-time jobs, he worked in the president's office here at Damon. Uh, his paralegal studies senior project was a very creative and ambitious proposal to amend New York State regulations to provide the more compassionate and appropriate family-based homes uh, for New Yorkers with disabilities that so many other states have. Last year, he was inducted into the Lex Honor Society for Legal Studies, and he graduates with an outstanding GPA. I'm very excited to watch Stefan's career trajectory as he moves on uh, to Damon's Master's in Public Health Program. Isabella Acosta. Uh, Bella is an outstanding student who I've had the pleasure to teach and mentor for the past four years. She has distinguished herself not only by her dedication to her schoolwork in paralegal studies and school activities, but also through her service to others. Bella was an outstanding student in the paralegal service learning class in which she assisted uh, immigration attorneys at Journey's End um, and served um, the refugees and immigrants that come to Buffalo. Um, she was so outstanding, she was invited to continue volunteering over the summer. Uh, she served as president of the Paralegal Studies Club, um, at, as well as president of the Damon um, American University Women's Club. Um, and in recognition of her leadership on campus, she was just awarded the Stratton O'Neill and Sullivan Award. Um, Bella took on a minor in women's studies and also worked various part-time jobs throughout her four years. Her passion to serve others can be seen in her senior project, in which she advocated for the passage of the Fair Pay Act in order to equalize women's wages. She was also inducted into the Lex Honor Society for Legal Studies last year and also graduates with an outstanding GPA. I'm very excited to see what Bella will accomplish and wish her much success as she embarks on a master's in social work at the University of Buffalo. Our next department is athletic training, and presenting is the department chair, Rebecca Bagali. Good evening. Tonight I have the honor of presenting two awards to two of our athletic training graduate students finishing up this year. The first award is the Clinical Excellence Award. 
and the Clinical Excellence Award is presented to the athletic training student who demonstrates outstanding performance during their clinical education by consistently exhibiting high quality and character in the following areas, initiative, dependability, work ethic, enthusiasm, professionalism, knowledge, clinical and communication skills, rapport with patients, personal growth, peer mentoring, and positive role model. The 2019 Clinical Excellence Award is given to, given to Darlene Eckert for outstanding performance during her clinical education. Darlene, can you join me up here? Comments from some of Darlene's preceptors include, Darlene exhibits a phenomenal work ethic and has shown great progress in her time here. Darlene has very strong knowledge and is comfortable working with patients. She has a way to put all of her patients at ease. She has a creative mind and continues to push herself to master all skills and knowledge. Darlene has the skills, the attitude, and the professional demeanor needed to be a very successful athletic trainer. Congratulations, Darlene. The second award I'm gonna present is the Sue Rock Award. The Sue Rock Award is given to a student who, like Sue Rock, former head athletic trainer at the University of Buffalo, exemplifies professionalism, commitment, and dedication to the athletic training profession. Students who are awarded this honor are always engaged, put extra time in to help and or learn, and show dedication to helping patients, fellow students, professors, and preceptors. The 2019 Sue Rock Award is being given to Liz Hauke in recognition of exemplary professionalism, commitment, and dedicated dedication to the athletic training profession. Can you join me up here, Liz? Just a few of the comments from some of Liz's preceptors and instructors include, Liz is a very hard worker with a strong willingness to learn. She always portrayed a positive attitude and great promise as an emerging professional. Liz is an exceptional student. She is dedicated to her studies and sought out extra um, clinical opportunities such as an internship with ESPN's Disney Wild World of Sports to advance her clinical abilities. She has limitless potential as a leader in athletic training. Congratulations, Liz. Our next department is education, and I invite Associate Professor Bruce Shields to present the first award. Would Danielle Giroux please join me on stage? Danielle Drew, <coughs> Childhood Education and Students with Disabilities major, has been selected by the faculty to receive the Undergraduate Excellence Award in Education. Ms. Drew has made the Dean's List every semester in which she was eligible throughout her undergraduate studies. In addition, she was a member and co-president of Sigma Pi Epsilon Delta, the college's special education honorary. Danielle's college supervisor, Ro Roberta Friedenberg, said about Danielle, she demonstrates teaching skills that we wish every child would have the opportunity to experience. Danielle is creative, flexible, resourceful, and professional, even in the most challenging situations. She accepts critiques with confidence and adjusts when necessary. Danielle's exemplary willingness to take initiative and foster an educational environment in which all students thrive to be commended. On behalf of the education faculty, we're very excited to honor Danielle Drew with the Undergraduate Excellent Award for the graduate class of 2019. Our next presenter is Deborah Napolitano, assistant professor. Good evening. I am very pleased to be able to present the first award for dissemination of behavior analysis from one of Damon College's newest programs, the Behavior Analysis Program. 
I am excited that our first awardee is Natalie Aziz. Natalie. <laughs> Natalie is one of our first graduates from the program. She was in our online cohort and she completed her capstone in our program and her capstone was excellent. The capstone focused on so, a socially significant area of concern, response interruption and redirection to treat vocal behavior in persons with autism. This is an important area to treat because sometimes persons with autism repeatedly say things out of context and it may interfere with their ability to learn. It's one of the newest interventions to effectively treat this behavior and um, it is really important to review the current literature, evaluate the literature in its entirety, and to disseminate this information because this is part of what behavior analysts do. We disseminate. Natalie's review was thorough, well-written, and informative. And for that reason, Natalie first presented the information at the Damon's Academic Festival. But she isn't stopping there. I am very fortunate that I will continue to be able to work with Natalie when she submits this for the presentation at the New York State Association for Behavior Analysis Conference in November. We're very proud of Natalie. Our next department is English, and Department Chair Nancy Mark Cantwell will be presenting three awards. Good evening. On behalf of the English Department, it is my pleasure to present both the John T. Masterson Award and the English Department Senior Capstone Award to Connor Lo Tempio. The John T. Masterson Award honors Professor Masterson, one of the original English department faculty and a devoted Shakespearean. The award recognizes outstanding accomplishment in literary criticism, combining strong habits of textual analysis with concise and elegant writing. Connor demonstrated this intellectual precision in his senior capstone essay, for which he also receives the senior capstone award. This award recognizes exceptional achievement in the production of a capstone project, a year-long endeavor that requires intensive research, critical reflection, and immersion in the writing process. In his analytical essay, At the End of Your Dream, The End of Evangelion and Trauma, Connor shows remarkable skill in his close reading of the anime classic film, The End of Evangelion, which brings three seasons of the Evangelion series to a close. Connor's research incorporates trauma theory and postmodernist criticism to read the film as a means of processing and responding to the collective traumas that have shaped Japanese culture since World War II. His essay explains the film's incorporation of psychoanalysis, religious imagery, and the Japanese concept of a postmodern apocalypse. The English department proudly recognizes this work with these two awards as a testament to Connor's accomplishment as both a writer and a scholar. The Catherine Sullivan Award for Adolescent Education is presented to Jacqueline Fullington. Jackius demonstrated her potential to become an outstanding English teacher. Jackie brings to her future students both a genuine enthusiasm for literature and accomplishment in literary studies. Her two final term papers, one on the oppression of gentlewomen in George Eliot's 1872 classic novel, Middlemarch, and the other on Desdemona's lack of agency in Shakespeare's Othello, both demonstrate exceptional insight into women's issues as represented in literature. The English faculty are convinced that she will inspire her students 
to share her appreciation of literature and culture while still holding them to the highest standards and treating them with respect and care. Congratulations. I think now we understand why tonight's celebration is called the Annual Excellence Awards and not the Annual Mediocre Awards. What, what outstanding accomplishments. This is phenomenal. All right, all right, I promise I will stick with the script. So our next program, Entrepreneurship. Presenting is Dan Shanahan, Program Director. Good evening. It's my privilege to award the excellence in entrepreneurism to Ricardo Ruiz Martinez. Uh, Rico, would you please take the stage? Rico will be graduating with a major in general business, minoring in entrepreneurship, international business, and marketing, and will be pursuing a career in international business and business development. Rico left his Valencia, Spain for the US to combine both his academic and athletic career. He left warm beaches, functioning public transportation, <laughs> friends and family to pursue opportunities on his own terms. What Rico did not leave behind was fierce curiosity. Curiosity is what drives Rico and makes him a success. Whether it's on the tennis court, the east side exploring neighborhood development, an internship with 43 North, competing in a business competition, or in the classroom, Rico embraces life, enjoys it, and excels at it. Rico understands challenges and setbacks are part of a grand adventure. Rico has accepted all opportunities that have come his way and never backed down. It's a trait I tremendously respect and it has earned him this award. Our next program is Global Sustainability and presenting is Brenda Young. Good evening. The Global and Local Sustainability Program is proud to give our award for Outstanding Senior to Kristen Mott. So Kristen will actually be receiving two degrees tomorrow. She's receiving her Bachelor of Arts in Global and Local Sustainability, and she's receiving a Bachelor of Science in Business uh, with a specialization in Marketing. So clearly she's been busy. Um, outside of the classroom, she's been active in the Marketing Collaboratory, the Environmental Club, and also on our track team. And last year, she broke her leg in pole vaulting, so that kind of ended the track team part of it. Um, last year, she traveled to San Jose, Costa Rica, where she, uh, for her international experience, learned firsthand about sustainability initiatives in that particular country. Um, this year, for her capstone project, she has been working with a middle school in Batavia focusing on plastic, uh, single-use plastic reduction. She's been designing solutions to limit their use of plastic utensils and straws in their lunchroom. And her capstone research did a thorough cost analysis and suggested a number of innovative um, solutions to trying to reduce their plastic use. Uh, Kristen plans to use her, her marketing skills and her creativity to further sustainability initiatives for both uh, for-profit businesses and also not-for-profits. And I'm sure she will be very successful in whatever she chooses to do. Congratulations. Our next presenter is Justine Tatiska, Department Chair for Health Promotion. Good evening. The Health Promotion Department is honored to award Rachel Robertson. Rachel, if you can join me. Um, <laughs> Rachel is receiving our Student of Distinction Award for 2019. Rachel doesn't just stand out, she absolutely shines in her academics, in athletics, 
in service to Damon College and her community, in leadership, and even professionally in service to many of our academic offices at the college, including that of our VPAA, Dean of the College, Dr. Brogan. Rachel is kind, genuine, and humble. She is a mentor to other students, a friend to the community, and a source of great assistance to this campus. She is simply the type of student that you're blessed to know and have in your classroom as a professor. We could not be more proud of Rachel and her many accomplishments, which are too numerous to list. We look forward to her continued role in our Master of Public Health program and afterwards, hopefully, in our community. Next is our History and Political Science Department, and our first presenter is Department Chair Penny Messinger. It is my great pleasure to present our History and Political Science Valedictorian Award to Gabriela Sinat. The recipient of our valedictorian award this year is Gabrielle Sinat with a GPA of 3.88. Gabby is a history and political science major. Her minors in public history, philosophy, global studies, and medical humanities demonstrate her wide-ranging intellectual interests. Gabby completed a public history internship at the Theodore Roosevelt inaugural uh, historic site in Buffalo and a summer-long public health internship in Thailand and was president of both the Student Honors Organization and the History and Government Club. Gabby's senior thesis project explored the history and cultural renaissance of the potlatch tradition among native Northwest Coast peoples. She has presented her thesis research as well as her original research on eugenics at national student conferences. Gabby is entering a master's program at the University of Pittsburgh with a foreign language and area studies fellowship to continue her study of Chinese. Congratulations, Gabby, from all the faculty of our department. We wish you great success. And now Jay Wenland, assistant professor from the department, will be presenting next. It's my honor to present the award for Best Senior Capstone Research Project in Political Science to Tori Newman Campbell. <laughs> Tori's project, entitled Racial Biases in the New York City Defense System, uh, provided timely and important research uh, and explored the inequities of cash bail, pretrial detention, and sentencing outcomes in New York City courts. Tori is a political science major with minors in political communication and literature and composition, and is a student government leader. Tori further distinguished herself by completing three internships, back to back to back, interning for uh, New York City Councilwoman Alika Amprey Samuel, U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, and U.S. Representative Brian Higgins. For this exceptional performance, Tori received the inaugural Megan Rasinowski Outstanding Internship Award. Uh, Tori has been accepted into multiple master's programs, including the one she chose to go to at the prestigious John Jay College of Criminal Justice in New York City. On behalf of the faculty of the History and Political Science Department, congratulations and best. <laughs> From Modern Languages, I invite Denise Mills to present their Outstanding Senior Award. Good evening. It's with great pleasure that we present to Lucy Connery the 2019 Modern Language Department Outstanding Senior Award.
Lucy is an outstanding student. She's smart and she's good. And she's graduating with three degrees in five years, earning a dual undergraduate degree in Spanish with a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Science in Health Promotion, as well as starting her master's in public health. Lucy completed her service learning experience in the Dominican Republic in January of 2017, where she was engaged in construction projects and community campaigns leading to the development of sanitation programs. She also completed a term of study abroad in Salamanca, Spain in January of 2018. In addition to her fantastic skills in Spanish, she brings intermediate fluency in French to the field of healthcare. Lucy's senior thesis examined childhood obesity and was written and defended um, in Spanish. She's currently completing her Master of Public Health Practicum experience at the Wellness Institute of Buffalo. Please join us in recognizing Lucy's multilingual and multidisciplinary skills. The Natural Science Department will be presenting two awards. The first from Diane Ramos, Associate Professor. Okay. Okay, the Department of Natural Sciences is pleased to award our Outstanding Student Award this year to Joseph Prunier. <laughs> Joe, can you come on up? I can't see anything. <laughs> oh. Joe has grown into a truly exceptional student, driven by infectious levels of curiosity and enthusiasm. He is a leader in classroom discussions, pushing fellow students to challenge themselves and get out of their comfort zone. He has been an outstanding coach and PLTL leader. And many of the students that you will see walking across the stage tomorrow have benefited from the care and support that Joe has given them. Joe is the embodiment of what a Damon education can be, having formed personal connections with every faculty member that he has worked with, routinely visiting office hours to discuss articles that he has read in the latest scientific publications. He is one of those precious few students that pushes us as educators and makes us better teachers. We are proud to see him move on to the next stage of his education in a graduate physician's assistant program. Please join me in congratulating Joe. Next is Sally Ann Simesco to present their Outstanding Student Research Award. Good evening. This year's recipient of the Outstanding Research Student Award is Will Wolkowski. Will, please come up. <laughs> Will came to Damon as a transfer student from UB, and upon graduation, he hopes to secure a position in a research lab, but maybe now he can be convinced to try some graduate school studies. Personally, I was very anxious and nervous to take on the role of being a research mentor here at Damon. I could not have asked for a better first student. Will was one of, of two students, and his dedication and perseverance that he displayed as we encountered unanticipated problems will make him an asset in any lab. He always had a positive attitude and did not rely on me to find the answers to move our project forward. Will's initiative and willingness to problem solve are amazing. Congratulations, Will, on the behalf of the Natural Science Department. Best wishes, and thank you for sharing your talents with us. I now invite Cheryl Nosick, Department Chair of Nursing, and she will be presenting three awards for her department. Good evening. The nursing department is proud to announce the Emerging Nurse Leader Award to Jennifer Thomas. Jennifer, can you join me?
This award is presented to an undergraduate student who displays emerging leadership skills and has promising leadership potential within the nursing profession. In her time as an RN to BS student here at Damon, Jennifer has clearly demonstrated leadership skills in collaborating with her peers, particularly when working on group projects. During our leadership and management course, for example, she kept her team on track to complete an outstanding project. She has also successfully applied what she has learned at Damon to her professional career, progressing from working as a bedside nurse in the intensive care unit to charge nurse in that same unit. Jennifer has continued to develop her leadership skills and has recently accepted a position as a nurse manager at Sisters of Charity Hospital in the Catholic Health System. We have no doubt that Jennifer will grow to be a strong leader in the profession. Congratulations, Jennifer. The Excellence in Advanced Nursing Practice Award is being given to Melissa Hovac. <laughs> this award is presented to a graduate student with outstanding performance in an area of advanced nursing practice. Melissa has consistently adhered to Damon's high standards of nurse practitioner education. She has worked diligently throughout the program to develop her clinical skills. She enjoyed learning, strive for excellence, and continuously exhibited intellectual curiosity. Not only does she have outstanding practice skills, she is also able to integrate current evidence to improve her medical, medically complex patients. She has extensive int intensive care experience and is a certified critical care registered nurse. She was a charge nurse in a trauma intensive care unit and a member of the pressure ulcer prevention team in a local hospital. She has accepted employment as a nurse practitioner where she had worked as an RN. She is a dedicated, compassionate, and competent professional. We are proud to have her represent Damon as one of our graduates. Congratulations. <laughs> And last but not least, <clears throat> the nursing department is proud to announce our Outstanding Leader Award to be given to Katrina Bowman. <clears throat> this award winner is selected based on demonstrated leadership and impact on the nursing profession. Katrina has demonstrated outstanding leadership in both the classroom and the workplace. Katrina was an active contributor to class discussions in the particularly in the professional issues course. She used her experience as a charge nurse to bring perspective to difficult conversations. She emphasized the importance of joining a professional organization and led by example as a member of the American Association of Critical Care Nurses, along with multiple other specialty certifications. Her role as a nurse leader also led her to successful application to Sigma Theta Tau, our international nursing honor society. In the workplace, Katrina acts as a preceptor in addition to her charge nurse role in the emergency department at Oshai Children's Hospital. Her dedication to the profession, coupled with her ability to positively and supportive, supportively lead others, is a characteristic of an outstanding leader, and we look for wonderful things from her in the years to come. getting a tan underneath these lights. It's been a long winter, so it's helpful. Uh, our next department is physical therapy, and I'm pleased to introduce our department chair, Greg Ford. I didn't need these four years ago. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Our first award recognizes a hardworking student has demonstrated significant leadership within our Student Physical Therapy Association in the role as student liaison to the Western District of the NYPTA. 
This year's award recipient is Dan Staples. In this position, Dan has been very active in attending Western District NYPTA meetings and activities, as well as communicating, advocating, and motivating our PT students to keep them informed and spur involvement at the district, state, and national levels. Dan was instrumental in setting up and attending PT Pub Night, which allowed for PT advocacy and networking. In addition to his SPTA roles, Dan is a well-prepared and hardworking student who takes initiative and pride in all that he does. Dan has been a role model for professional involvement and advocacy during his time within our program, and we are very confident he will go far with all that he does in the future. Congratulations, Dan. The Physical Therapy Department Faculty Recognize Recognition Award is given annually to a graduating DPT student who has demonstrated significant academic achievement, con contributed to the classroom and clinic, as well as demonstrated service to the department, college, and community. This year's award recipient is Ben Purrington. Ben has been an active member of the Student Physical Therapy Association, demonstrating and developing effective leadership skills in his role as class president. Ben has displayed excellence in the classroom and the clinic with a thirst for knowledge and an unending pursuit of why and why not. PT faculty out there know that. In all the interactions with patients on campus during his clinical internships and through his service, the professional core values of compassion and caring have guided his path. Additionally, in countless ways, he has set an outstanding example for his peers, leading the way in demonstrating integrity and accountability in the classroom, the clinic, and in professional community. Congratulations, Ben. And our final award of the evening. This award is in honor of our founding director, Dr. Richard Schweikler, and is given to the student who earned the highest GPA in the professional phase of our DPT program, along with demonstrating contributions to the department, college, and community. This year's recipient is Colleen Zuniga. <laughs> Colleen is a leader amongst her peers. She's an extremely motivated and hardworking student who is driven to achieve the highest standard in the classroom and in the clinic. Colleen personifies the American Physical Therapy Association's core value of excellence, earning an outstanding 3.8 GPA in her academic and clinical courses. In addition, her compassionate and caring spirit was evident throughout the clinic and classroom. She is truly a bright and shining star of our program. We are confident she will be an excellent addition to our profession, contributing to making the DPT program very proud for many years to come. Congratulations, Colleen. Our next department is physician assistant, and one of many Gregs on campus is Greg Schutz, department chair. Good evening. <clears throat> the chair's award in the physician assistant department for academic excellence um, recognizes a student who has distinguished themselves in all facets of our rigorous curriculum. This year's recipient is Bethany Lazarus. When Bethany joined us back in 2014, I can tell you that she jumped right in feet first and has never looked back. Um, back in May of 2018, she graduated summa cum laude with her Bachelor of Science in Natural Science and then continued on um, to excel in our clinical year of the PA program. Tomorrow, she'll be receiving her Master's of Science in Physician Assistant Studies at commencement. In a review of her transcript, you're only gonna see pretty much one thing, A's across the board, a minus every once in a while, but amazing, truly amazing. She's the type of person that can care for my family any day. Um, she's also shared her knowledge and aptitude for the sciences with others, serving as an academic coach for chemistry, microbiology, and physiology during her time here at Damon. 
She also gave back and participated in service as a member of our Students Without Borders, the Physician Assistant Student Society, and Delta Phi Mu Sorority. Bethany? Tonight, you are joining a very, very short list and special list of the program's best and brightest over the past 21 years. I'm very proud to have you go forth representing this college, this program, and this profession in our community. Congratulations and best wishes. Next from the department is Assistant Professor Gary Steen. Good evening and congratulations to all our graduates. Uh, enjoy these wonderful days. Uh, the 2019 Excellence in Graduate Anatomy Award is presented to co-recipients Emily Gray and Vincent Dorenzo. Come up and join us, please. <laughs> I couldn't choose one. I had to. The award is given each year to the member of the physician assistant class who served as a graduate anatomy teaching assistant and excelled in areas of leadership, mentorship for junior students, and mastery of gross human anatomy. Ms. Gray and Mr. Dorenzo served the class of 2020 PA students in the fall semester of 2017, working on opposite Saturday mornings to lead both the students and other TAs in the dissections, and held regular open lab hours to answer student questions and guide their preparation. They also were valuable resources for graduate athletic training students who took the course in the summer of 2017. Both were very well respected and appreciated for their dedication, thoroughness, and easy approachability. So this award is sponsored by 3D4 Medical and as the recipients, uh, Ms. Gray and Mr. Dorenzo will each receive a complimentary one-year health professional license uh, for the award-winning software Complete Anatomy and um, a $50 card from Amazon. So congratulations to you. Now, I know Emily is going to put those surgical, uh, put those anatomical skills and knowledge to work in a surgical practice. I heard that she accepted a position in a surgical practice. And Vinny, I don't know. Fellowship in critical care Oh, fellowship in critical care medicine. Excellent. They have anatomy too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations to Emily and Vinny. Next department is Psychological Sciences, and I'm pleased to introduce Department Chair Denise Summer. Good evening, everyone. I'm extremely honored tonight to present the Department of Psychological Sciences Outstanding Academic Achievement Award to Ms. Rachel Lewandowski. Rachel, please join me at the podium. Rachel is an outstanding student with quiet confidence and humility that complement her intellect. Throughout her undergraduate years, Rachel maintained the highest psychology and overall GPA, reaching a perfect 4.0. Woo woo! She deserves it! And a 3.89, respectively. Rachel is consistently diligent, almost to a fault, which no doubt enabled her to achieve her stellar grade point average. She is clearly one of the most prepared and thorough students we have ever encountered. She can think deeply and complexly about any subject matter presented to her, which is extremely uncommon at this level of a student's academic journey. What is even more impressive is that she was able to reach these achievements while also overcoming great adversity. Her strength of character, her desire to learn, and her incredible work ethic will no doubt lead her to an extremely successful future. We couldn't be more proud of you tonight. Presenting next from the department is Shannon Lupian, Assistant Professor.
Tonight, I would like to present the Outstanding Senior Thesis Project in Psychological Sciences to Madison Gossel. <laughs> Madison is one of the most independently motivated students that I have worked with, which made my job as her thesis mentor refreshingly easy. She's extremely focused, intellectually gifted, and unwavering in her desire to put the work in to master each task put before her. I knew I could always count on her to get work done with minimal guidance. She was extremely attentive and engaged during each meeting, which allowed her to be incredibly prepared every step of the way. She did everything asked of her and more, and because of this was able to implement a truly stellar project that investigated how people's perceptions of their mental and physical illnesses relate to their overall health and well-being. It was a pleasure watching her grow into the wonderful researcher and critical thinker that she is. Congratulations. And next, I would like to present the Outstanding Senior Thesis Presentation Award in Psychological Sciences to Elizabeth Kading. Elizabeth found her stride during her thesis semester. She investigated how triggered empathy moderated the relationship between one's personal moral identity and subsequent indications of moral action. The skills we hope to develop in the thesis course involve more than just project development and implementation. We also want our students to develop a sense of efficacy in their ability to communicate their research. Many students become uneasy interacting with audience members during their oral presentations, but Elizabeth had a rare confidence in this regard. She was able to discuss her project effectively with audience members of varying backgrounds, including peers, family members, faculty, and college administrators. She fielded complex questions, thought critically about the implications of her work. Her excitement was evident as you could easily hear her across the crowded room, confidently discussing her research that she had done. It was wonderful to see her shine in this way. Congratulations. I'm now honored to introduce Program Director for Master of Public Health, Brian Rotniak. Good evening. This first award is presented to the graduating student who has demonstrated the highest level of academic achievement. This award is presented to Rebecca Dershberger. Becky has excelled in her academic studies and fieldwork, completing her MPH degree with a focus in community health education. Becky's love of learning, her dedication to social justice, and her willingness to investigate complex social issues from multiple perspectives has served her well in graduate school and certainly will continue to do so as she enters the field. Becky completed her internship with Native American Community Services, where she worked on a project to understand the prevalence of teen pregnancy and health needs within refugee populations of Buffalo. She is currently serving at the same social services organization as a sexual health educator. Congratulations, Becky. The Master of Public Health Leadership Award is presented to the graduating student who in the opinion of the faculty has demonstrated the highest level of leadership, professionalism, and integrity in promoting public health. The award this year is presented to Lindsay Cruiser. <laughs> Lindsay served as the president of the MPH Student Association over the past year. She led the development of a number of fundraising events and professional development opportunities, and also rallied public health students for wellness fairs, and local community clothing and supply drives. Earlier this month, she brought the walk, uh, Walking and Wellness Initiative to Damon, where students, faculty, and community members contribute to, contributed to the Wellness Institute of Greater Buffalo's goal of 125 million steps. Lindsay's passion for public health is evident in her ability to inspire her peers to take action in health promotion efforts, 
and in raising awareness for the pressing issues in the field of public health. Lindsay is now employed by Horizon Health Services. Congratulations, Lindsay. Our next program is Social Work and Sociology, and I'm honored to introduce Cassandra Daniels, Assistant Professor. Good evening. I'm pleased to announce tonight that the undergraduate social work student uh, for Outstanding Excellence is Brie Brzezinski. <laughs> Unfortunately, Brie is not able to be here with us this evening. However, her excellence and her contributions to both the college and the social work department and community at large still merits us to be able to talk about her achievements. Bree is a social work student who has consistently performed at the highest level of academic achievement. Uh, in addition to being organized, she's passionate about helping others and is a natural leader. For her senior practicum, she completed her time with the Erie County District Attorney's Office, helping out in the Crime Victims Unit, and she was able to bridge the disciplines of social work, law, and of course, social justice. Bree has demonstrated a mastery of the social work core values and her ethics in both the classroom and in the field practicum. She's been able to demonstrate the skills we look for in social work professionals as both looking at social work as a noun and a verb. Uh, she exemplifies strength, leadership, and academic excellence. These are all marked characteristics which confirm her merit for this award, and we are so looking forward to her joining us at the Masters of Social Work program in the fall. Thank you. Anyone else questioning if they should have done more during their educational experience? No, just me? Okay, we'll move on to Diane Bessel, Assistant Professor and Graduate Program Director in Social Work. The Master of Social Work program is very pleased to recognize Jacqueline Bouchain as the graduate recipient of the Outstanding Achievement in Social Work Award for 2019. <laughs> Jacqueline is a truly exceptional student whose performance has been exemplary throughout her time at Damon. The MSW faculty have been especially impressed by Jacqueline's thoughtfulness, which she has consistently demonstrated in both her course and fieldwork. She has shown determination by giving her best effort on every assignment and with every client, regardless of the challenges in doing so. Her calming and compassionate nature, strong skills, fierce intelligence, and dedication to ethical practice are the essential qualities needed of a social work professional. The MSW faculty are deeply honored to have mentored Jacqueline and they look forward to learning about all she will accomplish in the field. Our next presenter in the department is Maggie Dreyer, clinical instructor and director of field education. The Social Work Program is honored to recognize Rosalie Noyes as the undergraduate recipient of the Outstanding Performance in Field Education. <laughs> Rosalie demonstrates mastery in field competencies in both her field seminar course and at her placement at Pathways of Western New York, a therapeutic supervised access agency. Rosalie provided services to high-conflict families involved in Erie County Family Court, supervised visits between parents and children in a neutral, safe environment. Although the placement carries a required 42-hour commitment, Rosalie went above and beyond, earning 600 hours at the agency 
and was offered a full-time position upon graduation. As a student of Damon College, the faculty has been impressed with Rosalie's commitment to her academics, passion of social work, and unwavering worth ethic. Rosalie has demonstrated her commitment to social work core value of service academically and in the failed pra practicum. We look forward to having Rosalie in our Masters of Social Work program here at Damon. And next, um, the Masters of Social Work program is pleased to recognize Amanda, Amanda Cooper Calderon as graduate recipient of the Outstanding Performance in Field Education for the MSW program. Amanda provided treatment to individuals classified with co-occurring disorders as part of her 500 clinical internship at the New York State Office of Persons with Developmental Disabilities. There she was responsible for, for, for providing individual and group-based treatment services, as well as advocating on both the local and state level as part of the Let's Talk Stigma campaign. Amanda has sought additional opportunities to further develop her skills by working at a clinic, treating young adults experiencing significant trauma. She implemented evidence-based interventions designed to achieve client goals and profoundly impacted the functioning of these individuals. Throughout her time at Damon, Amanda has demonstrated a strong work ethic and strong support for vulnerable populations. Amanda's commitment to our profession is evident in her actions and continued service. It is my pleasure to present the 2019 Outstanding Performance in Field Education Award to Amanda Cooper Calderon. And last but not least, out of our departmental awards is the Visual and Performing Arts Department and presenting as department chair, Chris Brandes. Good evening. It and is, Mike uh, Jones. <laughs> He's not up here to talk, don't worry. <laughs> this is uh, a great honor for both myself and my lovely assistant to present the Sweatbox Award for Studio Achievement and Animation to Lucas Santos. Lucas has been a model student for the duration of his time with us here at Damon. From the earliest days, he has displayed a robust work ethic and dedication to the art of animation. He has extended himself and made himself a valued member of the Damon community through his mentorship with assistance given graciously to his peers and classmates. He has been a staple of the animation program, always being reliable and steadfast. We will feel his absence daily and will sincerely miss him on campus. In fact, with his work ethic, the consistent high quality of that work, and the amount of service he offers to the department and the college, if he didn't graduate, we'd probably have to give him tenure. <laughs> but we do look forward to his progress, and we're excited for his future. So now, that was just the warm up. We are moving on to campus wide awards. Our first award being the Damon College Tradition Keeper and the DC Book Medal. I invite Alumni Association board member Mackenzie Higgins, class of 09, to the stage. Every school has traditions that make it unique. The Damon College Tradition Keeper Medal is awarded to the following students. Hallie Fitzgerald, Stephanie Hanaka, Leanna Hughes, Morgan O'Connor, Courtney Scanlon, and Ashley Schoenhart. <laughs> For Damon College's 50th anniversary, a list of traditions was created to give students a sense of milestones they could achieve while at the college. The Tradition Keeper program is taking that idea one step further. The student alumni ambassadors, along with 16 different 
administrative and academic departments created a list of traditions as a way of st for students to get more involved both on campus and in the community. Traditions range from making the dean's list, meeting the college president, and joining a student organization. There are 50 traditions in total. The students will receive a Tradition Keeper Medal by completing 40 traditions and will have the honor of wearing that medal at commencement tomorrow. It is safe to say they had a well-rounded experience and created memories that will last them a lifetime. Please join me in congratulating the 2019 class of Tradition Keepers. Next is the Andre Hanat Award and presenting is Shirley Peterson, Dean of Arts and Sciences. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Each year, the Damon faculty nominates students who have submitted outstanding thesis work in their disciplines for the Andre Hanat Award for Excellence in Writing. <coughs> Excuse me. While most of the faculty don't remember Andre personally, even old timers like myself or Dr. Brogan didn't really know him, um, <clears throat> his reputation lives on. Uh, he was a beloved colleague and a skillful, skillful writer who taught French at Damon until his untimely death in the 1970s. A Belgian by birth, he learned English from GIs during World War II then moved to the United States and eventually joined the Rosary Hill and later Damon College faculty. Professor Hanat was very politically engaged and was also a founding member of the Faculty Senate. In fact, we're told that he used to write very entertaining Faculty Senate minutes, which is a real accomplishment. <laughs> Following his passing, the Senate initiated this award for writing excellence to commemorate him. This year's recipient of the award is Cassandra Sherman, who unfortunately cannot be here this evening to accept the award, but we will um, send, send it to her, present it to her later. Her advisor, Dr. Paulette Nuzik, describes her as follows. Cassandra is graduating with a BS degree in health promotion and community health, and will continue her studies at Damon next year in the Masters of Public Health graduate program. This semester, for her capstone project required for the major, Cassandra performed a comprehensive meta-analysis on the association between oral contraceptive use and breast cancer risk. She produced a high-quality manuscript that served as evidence of her superior scientific writing skills and mastery of research design and methodology. Cassandra plans to expand on this research and include additional exposures in the etiology of breast cancer during her graduate studies. Please join me in congratulating Cassandra Sherman, along with all the other senior thesis writers out there, and I think there's probably a number of you, um, it is a real accomplishment, and you're all to be congratulated. So, well done, all. I will invite Mackenzie Higgins back up to stage to present our Alumni Senior Award. The Damon College Alumni Association selects a graduating senior who has demonstrated exceptional dedication to the larger community to receive the Alumni Senior Award. This year's recipient is Glenda Artiga. <laughs> Glenda is graduating with her bachelor's degree in business and marketing. Glenda has been an engaged student leader serving in leadership positions, including being a member of the marketing club, a senior class representative, a peer mentor, and an academic coach. Glenda's dedication to her community includes her service work for the Los Angeles Metropolitan Debate League, which provides service of educating high school students during debate tournaments. 
In this role, she teaches the next generation how policymaking works and how theoretical ideas impact the world. It is with great pride in both her accomplishments and demonstrated dedication to the larger community that the Damon College Alumni Association proudly presents the 2019 Alumni Senior Award to Glenda Artiga. Next is our Mary Angela Canavan Award, and I mentioned earlier we had many Gregs on campus. This is Gregory Nair, Vice President for Student Affairs and Strategic Initiatives. I'd like to say thank you to Sabrina, but I don't mean it, so I won't. <laughs> so each year, the, Mary, uh, the college presents the Mary Angela Canavan Award to a graduating senior who has made outstanding contributions to student life at Damon College. And it's once again my privilege to bring up Rachel Robertson to the stage as well, this year's recipient. <laughs> Rachel is a scholar, an athlete, and a humanitarian. I think that's the best way to describe her. She's graduating this year with a bachelor's degree in health promotion, and this fall will be joining us once again to get her master's degree in public health. While at Damon College, you heard a little bit earlier about some of her many accomplishments, and I'll try and summarize a few. She was a student athlete in track and field as well as soccer. She was an active member of the campus activities team, Wildcat Wellness, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and the Health Promotion Student Association. In her free time, when she wasn't doing work in Dr. Brogan's office as a student assistant, she was working with Pete Blink, best buddies. She has presented at the Interprofessional Education Summit and the Beyond Biology Conference, as well as the Academic Festival and has volunteered countless hours for community service initiatives, including Make-A-Wish, Step Up for Down Syndrome, Jericho Road Community Center, and many other ones. Rachel is an exemplary student who exemplifies the best of what Damon offers, and it is my absolute privilege to congratulate her and give her the Mary Angela Canavan Award. it's evident who our next presenter is, but I will do the formal introduction. I'm honored to uh, introduce Gary Olson, President of Damon College, to uh, award our President's Award. I told you you'd be impressed by these wonderful students. The President's Award annually recognizes a graduating senior who has enhanced the Damon community through a record of extraordinary accomplishment in such areas as scholarship, student life, and community life, and who's exemplified the college's values, goals, and ideals throughout his or her college career. This year, the recipient of this prestigious leadership award, you've already met. She's Gabriel Sennett. Gabby is, a graduate, is graduating with a bachelor's degree in history and political science. And uh, during her time at Damon, Gab Gabby has served as the President and Public Relations Director of the Honors Program, as well as the President of the History and Government Club. She has been very involved in the History and Political Science Department, where she serves as the Ambassador for Current and Prospective Students, and has been a peer mentor. Gabby is committed to uh, learning about the world, meeting and understanding people from around the world, and offering her education and experience to serve others. And we heard a lot about that before. While at Damon, she was able to study abroad in Italy and spend two summers in Thailand, where she was a public health intern at a clinic and where she focused on cross-cultural difference and served as an English tutor for refugees. It's this time every year it makes me realize I wasted my four years in college. <laughs> her impressive resume uh, of experiences shows her deep interest and pursuit of a global education. So it's with great pleasure that we present the 2019 President's Award to Gabby Sinek.
So the committee didn't trust me with closing remarks, and I don't blame them. But before I introduce Dr. Brogan, I did want to mention to make sure that everyone knows that they are invited for our reception afterwards, uh, right in our joining room in the dining room. And we invite all of our uh, recipients this evening to have their professional photo taken right outside the door, starting with our campus-wide recipients first, and then departmental recipients. And then our only request is that you do remain seated when the platform party exits the room. But now I am truly honored to introduce Dr. Michael Brogan, Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the College. Dr. Peterson, as an old timer, it's difficult to remember period, let alone the 70s. <laughs> but I do remember Andre, and I also had the privilege of teaching Andre's son, Jim Hanat, who graduated from physical therapy long ago. He was a wonderful professor, and we miss him dearly. In closing, I'd like to add my congratulations to our graduates. Your hard work, commitment, perseverance, an academic accomplishment is deeply respected and applauded. You have met an extremely challenging experience, learned through it, and have succeeded. Here's a thought that has echoed throughout history. Who actually was the first to state it remains uncertain. Some say Julius Caesar, some Mark Twain, some Will Rogers, and some Rita Mae Brown. Most likely, someone far before that had said it. I'm sure it was thought by many experienced and learned by most. The thought being, good judgment is the result of experience, and experience the result of bad judgment. <laughs> Bram Stoker, author of Dracula, said, we learn from failure, not from success. And John Keats said, nothing is real until it is experienced. I'm sure during your trials and tribulations, throughout your program study, you have met failure, learned from that experience, improvised, adapted, and celebrated subsequent success. Your degree and tenure here at the college will lead to countless opportunities, opportunities which will present a variety of life and career experiences. Many of these experiences will certainly entail some degree of failure. Embrace every opportunity you meet, learn from each, and find success within your career and throughout your life. We look forward to your continued success. Congratulations, Forever Damon. <laughs>